what's in his past. Captain, it was the engine imbalance that created the wormhole in the first place. Did it happen again when it was corrected? That object is less than two days away from Earth. We need to intercept while it still is out there. Navigator, lay a new heading to conform with our initial IP with the intruder. Mr. Zilli, you have a column. Mr. Decker, I'd like to see you in my quarters. Mind if I tag along, Captain? Level five. All right, explanation. Why was my phaser order countermanded? Sir, the Enterprise redesign increases phaser power by channeling it through the main engines. When they went into antimatter imbalance, the phasers were automatically cut off. <coughs> and you acted properly, of course. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. You saved the ship. I'm aware of that, sir. Stop competing with me, Decker. Permission to speak freely, sir? Granted. Sir, you haven't logged a single star hour in two and a half years. That plus your unfamiliarity with the ship's redesign, in my opinion, sir, seriously jeopardizes this mission. I trust your will. Nurse made me through these difficulties, mister? Yes, sir, I'll do that. Then I won't keep you from your duties any longer, Commander. Yes, Doctor. Aye, sir. You may be right, Jim. Was it difficult? No more than I expected. About as difficult as seeing you again. I'm sorry. That you left Delta Four? Or that you didn't even say goodbye? If I had seen you again, would you have been able to say it? is that it's you who's competing. You ram getting this command on Starfleet's throat. You've used this emergency to get the Enterprise back. And I intend to keep her, is that what you're saying? Yes. It's an obsession. An obsession that can bind you to far more immediate and critical responsibilities. Your reaction to Decker is an example, Jim. Bridge to Captain. Viewer on. Signal from a Federation registered long range shuttle, sir. She wishes to come alongside and lock on. For what purpose? My security scan shows it has a grade one priority, Captain. Non belligerency confirmed. I suspect it is a courier of some kind. Very well, Mr. Chekhov. See to it. Viewer on. Your opinion has been noted. Anything further? That depends on you. I want to stop right there to be able to make the point that I need to make. How many times have we heard the doctor's always right? pertaining to his assessment or his evaluation. Um, this was just a little short segment coming out of a particular movie, and for privacy rights purposes, we couldn't show the actual movie, but I'm pretty sure that you that are familiar with various scientific movies, you probably immediately recognized the voice. The fact of the matter is it can become an obsession to the point that our 
chief and commander, our president of the United States, starts putting emphasis upon certain priorities more so than others, which could and can cause inadequacies pertaining to how that you are going to run a government. You basically run a government just like running a ship. Um, you know that there are obstacles out there that you're going to have to overcome and that you're going to have to uh, learn to deal with or destroy. But at the same time, you must also take care of the fundamentals pertaining to the ship towards different responsibilities. That is, that is a good captain. And it doesn't matter if you're a captain of a scientific movie pertaining to a starship or it's an actual literal ship that floats in the water or a submarine or a airplane or any of the above um, because responsibilities come with that in which what has been promoted or voted in for you to do. Once more, I'll repeat that. Responsibilities come with the position that either you have been promoted or voted in to do. And those responsibilities are in fact called duties. Duties to perform professionally, duties to perform to the fullest extent. We are hoping that this little, I guess you'd call it a, a, a bigment of your imagination of those that get a hold of this will understand that, that so many times the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. I personally don't want to become any type of a political duty performing officer, regardless whether it be a high ranking official or a senator or a congressman or a governor or a lieutenant governor, or any of the above, going all the way down to basically your county as well as your city mayor, all the way down to your sheriff, your local sheriff. I choose not to become politically bound due to there's so many conflict of, conflicts of interest regarding the spirituality duties versus one's political duties. We are, in fact, duty-bound as brothers and sisters in Christ, as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ and His teachings, we are duty bound of conducting ourselves in a certain form, in a certain way, that is not a suggestion, but rather a requirement. These are the areas that we feel like coming from the Windmill Ministries missions here at 291 Thompson Road. These are the areas that we feel like has been has been compromised due to people either not caring about their duties or people being unfamiliar with their duties.